Hey guys, can we, can we get a photo for the, just for the scrapbook? I mean, we just found this lovely picnic table out beside a parking lot and I really want to get a picture. So, okay, everybody just show me the pearly whites on a count of three. One, two, three. Uh, Brian, you blinked. Come Brian. on, guys, it's not that hard. You ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Everybody looking good again. Liz. You're frowning. That was my smile. Just give us a smile. You got a beautiful smile. Okay, everybody, and that's it. Ready? And one, two, three. Yeah. Thank you. It can be hard to get pictures of people right. And the more you try, the more frustrating it can be. Now, being able to detect faces and their activity can make that much easier, and it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and I'm here today to talk about the Vision APIs that ship with Google Play services and how you can use them. Now, using these, you have access to some of the great features that can turn your pictures from this to this, and maybe even this. Now, of course, you're not just limited to pictures. This API will allow you to build apps that can do all kinds of fun things with detected faces and facial activities. Think about the things that this could do for your app. Maybe you can create awesome avatars from your users' faces, or you can do silly things to their faces, or maybe you can create games that are controlled by the expression on a face, like smiling to shoot. Pew, pew. Now, the Vision APIs make facial detection in a picture, a video, or a live camera preview really simple. But one thing to note is that it's facial detection and not facial recognition. The APIs will detect the areas in the image where there are faces, but not who those faces belong to. You might see some familiar faces here. And the app has no idea who they are. How many can you recognize? It's, I can tell you it's a lot more than the API. Now, one thing is that it's really good at detecting human faces. So sorry, Bucky, uh, no hat for you. In addition to that, it will also detect various parts of the face that it calls landmarks. No, not that kind of landmark. Landmarks are well-known parts of the human face. And here you can see some examples. When a face is detected, the coordinates for things such as the bottom of the mouth, the base of the nose, or the centers and tips of the eyes will become available. So, for example, if I wanted to give this nice lady a mustache, it would be easy to plot the center of the tash using the edges of her mouth, the base of her nose, and her lips. Something like this. Yep, that's tash-tastic. Now, beyond just seeing the landmarks on the face, the vision APIs can also detect activity on the face. So maybe a subject is blinking, or maybe they're winking, or maybe they're smiling. Well, there's an API for that. Almost. Now, the face doesn't have to be directly facing the camera. The API is smart enough to detect a face even at different angles and inclinations. Now, think about the things you could do by turning your face into a controller. Maybe wink your left and right eyes to move a spaceship left or right and smile to shoot. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination. You can learn more about the Vision APIs and the great types of app that you can build with them on the Google Developer site at these links. Thank you, and don't forget to build better apps.